Okay, now let's see what is pedal triangle and more specifically orthic triangle. Consider triangle ABC. Here we have triangle ABC. Now there is point P in the plane of ABC. This point P may be either inside triangle or outside triangle or on the triangle. Okay. Consider point P here inside triangle. Now from point P draw perpendiculars on the sides. Okay. We have here perpendiculars from point P on the sides. We have fit of perpendiculars uh, D, E and F. Okay. Then triangle formed by these feet of perpendiculars is called pedal triangle. We have here triangle D, E, F. This triangle is called pedal triangle. In special case when point P is orthocenter, then uh, this pedal triangle is called orthic triangle. So, orthic triangle is one special pedal triangle in which point P is ortho center of triangle. In our syllabus, we have a pedal triangle with respect to ortho center only. There is only one pedal triangle. Okay. So, we call orthic triangle a pedal triangle. Okay. Now, orthic triangle ko hi pedal triangle kehte hai. Now, here we have acute angle triangle ABC in which H is ortho center. D, E, F are fit of perpendiculars from ortho center on sides B, C, A, C and A, B respectively. Okay. So, triangle formed by these feet of perpendiculars is called pedal triangle or more specifically orthic triangle. Hum generally word pedal triangle use karenge. Okay na? Now, let us get sides and angles of pedal triangle. Okay, now, do you see some sets of uh, four consaclic points in this figure? Definitely, there are many. Points B, F, H, D are consaclic. These four points are consaclic. Hai na? Hai? Then, what will be this angle? For this angle, we consider chord F, H. Chord F H will subtend same angle at point D and at point B. Na? In dono points, pe, chord F H same angle subtend karega because points B, F, H, D are concyclic. Now, what is this angle? For this angle, we consider right angle triangle A, E, B. This angle is 90, this angle is A. So, this angle is 90 minus A. So, this angle is also 90 minus A. Okay. Now, let us get this angle. Now, points D, H, E, C are concyclic. Okay. Here, for points B, F, H, D, uh, B, H will be diameter because B, H is subtending right angle at point F and at point D. So, these four points concyclic hai, usme B, H kya ho jayega? Diameter ho jayega. Similarly, here, points D, H, E, C are concyclic in which H, C is diameter. Okay. Then what will be this angle? This angle will be equal to this angle and this angle is 90 minus A from triangle A, F, C. Uh, this angle is 90, this angle is A. So, this angle is 90 minus A. That means this angle is also 90 minus A. Okay. Now, this is altitude of triangle ABC through vertex A which is actually angle bisector of uh, angle D in triangle DEF. This is internal angle bisector of angle D because these two angles are equal. Okay. So, triangle ka jo altitude hai vertex A se wo is triangle mein angle D ka internal angle bisector ho jayega. Hai na? Similarly, we can get these two angles. Okay? We have points uh, A, F, H, E which are concyclic in which AH is diameter. This angle will be 90 minus B and this angle will be also 90 minus B. This angle will be 90 minus C and uh, this also 90 minus C. Okay. That means uh, this altitude is internal angle bisector of angle E and this altitude of triangle ABC is internal angle bisector of angle F in triangle DEF. That means ortho center of triangle ABC is in center of triangle DEF. 
here lines AD, B and CF are altitudes of triangle ABC. So, point H is orthocenter of triangle ABC. But these lines are actually internal angle bisectors of triangle DEF. Okay. And internal angle bisectors meet at a point uh, which is in center of triangle. Okay, na? Triangle ke jo internal angle bisectors hai, wo kahan pe milte hai? in center pe milte hai. That means uh, ortho center of triangle ABC is in center of triangle DEF in center of pedal triangle, orthic triangle. This is one of the most important findings. Okay. Now, we have angles of pedal triangle. Let us get the uh, sides. Okay. Let us get side uh, FD. Okay. For FD, we consider triangle FBD. We triangle consider triangle FBD. In this triangle, this is a projection of uh, AB on BC, which is a C cos B. And uh, BF is projection of BC on AB, which is uh, actually A cos B. Okay. Now, here we have two sides and included angle. This angle is B. We can find side FD using cosine rule. Okay. So, using cosine rule, we have FD square is equal to square of this side, A square cos square B plus square of this side, C square cos square B, okay, minus 2 multiplied by A cos B, C cos B multiplied by cos of included angle, which is B. So, we have here uh, multiplied by cos B, okay. Now, we have, now we have cos square b common from these three terms. So, inside bracket we have a square plus c square minus 2 a c cos b. Now, from cosine rule this is b square. So, we have f d square is equal to b square cos square b. So, f d is equal to b cos b. That means, uh, side of pedal triangle opposite to angle b is b cos b. Uh, similarly, uh, side of pedal triangle opposite to angle A will be A cos A. Here F E is equal to A cos A and uh, side opposite to angle C will be C cos A. Here length E D is equal to C cos C. So, here we have sides of pedal triangle. Okay, now, let us find circum radius of pedal triangle. Suppose, circum radius is R dash. Okay. How we get circum radius of any triangle? For that, we need uh, one side and uh, opposite angle. Here we have all the sides and all the angles. Okay, so using sine rule in triangle DEF, we have length uh, FE upon sine of angle EDF. This is equal to two multiplied by R dash, where R dash is circum radius of triangle DEF. Okay, now what is length FE? Length FE is A cos A. Okay. What is angle EDF? Angle EDF is uh, 180 degree minus 2A. So, we have here sine of 180 degree minus 2A. This is equal to 2 R dash. Okay. Now, sine 180 degree minus 2A is sine 2A. Sine 2A is 2 sin A cos A. So, we have A cos A upon 2 sin A cos A, this is equal to 2 R dash. Here cos A gets cancelled out, A upon sin A is equal to 2 R. So, this is equal to R. So, we have 2 R dash is equal to R, that means R dash is equal to R upon 2. That means, circum radius of pedal triangle is half of the circum radius of parent triangle. Here parent triangle is triangle ABC. Now, we have this results for acute angle triangle. Now, suppose we have obtuse angle triangle ABC in which angle A is obtuse angle. So, what we do here? In this figure, we replace orthocenter H by vertex A and vertex A by orthocenter H. Here, triangle ABC is obtuse angle in which this angle is obtuse. So, orthocenter is lying outside triangle. Here, H is orthocenter. DEF is pedal triangle or orthic triangle, DEF are fit of perpendiculars from uh, ortho center on sides of the triangle. In this case, distance FE will be minus A cos A, okay, because uh, here angle A is obtuse, so value of cos A will be negative. 
So, here expression of F e is followed by a minus sign. Expression for F d and E d will remain same. F d will be B cos B and E d will be C cos A because uh, angle B and C are acute angles. Okay, no? Now, here ortho center H will be x center of triangle D E F opposite to vertex. What is x center? Triangle has 3 x centers opposite to 3 vertices. This is x center opposite to vertex D. At x center opposite to vertex D, external angle bisectors of angles E and F and internal angle bisector of angle D intersect. Ye jo x center hai, waha pe external angle bisectors angles E and F ke and internal angle bisector of angle D yaha pe intersect karenge. Na? We will study x centers in detail in one of the coming videos. Okay. So, here we have theory related to pedal triangle or orthic triangle.